SNAP is a terrific work support. It helps families when they're out of work. It supports them as they're moving up and into work and as they earn more hours or more wages, it's there with them, slowly phasing out as they are better off. SNAP, or the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, supports and encourages work in a number of ways. First is that it's added take-home pay. Workers get SNAP in addition to their paycheck to increase and boost monthly income. It can go up as much as 20% for some low-wage workers. That means that families have more money to meet their bills and put food on the table each day. Second, the program treats earnings differently and more advantageously than non-earnings, for example, Social Security income. So the more you earn, the more you can take home in total overall pay. It's always to your advantage to take home more earnings, work more hours if you can. Third, the program has a state option to allow states to change the cutoff level whereby workers, are, as they earn up the ladder, are no longer eligible. Families aren't eligible if their income exceeds 130% of the federal poverty line. But states can actually ease that and let it go up a little bit higher. So the more families earn, they can stay connected to SNAP, again, giving them an incentive to earn more. And fourth, and perhaps maybe the most important, it's an entitlement program. So funding is there for those who are eligible. So as your wages go up and down, the program is there to respond, either to contract when your earnings go up or to be available there for you when your earnings go down. Unlike other programs where there might be waiting lists and you face a huge choice as to whether to risk giving up a benefit in order to take increased work. A significant share of families who participate in SNAP are families with earnings. At any given point, more than half of the families with kids on the program are families with earnings. And of course, still others are there temporarily because they're in between jobs. If you look at SNAP households before and after their participation in SNAP, we have significant shares of those who are earners before and after, showing that it's both a work support and a form of unemployment insurance for very low-wage workers.